Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and I accidentally skipped last week's upload so you're getting one today. Hello peeps, I hope you're having a good weekend so far. Today we're doing a little bit of photo art journaling. It's like scrap journaling today. Uh, I'm using my big boy, my big A4 Dilutions journal which Hmm, it's not my favorite size uh, simply because I, I just I feel like there's a lot there's a lot of ground to cover uh, with this a5 sized book so today I wanted to try something that I've never tried before which is always fun to do for the first time on camera and I wanted to create a cutout number uh, and so I've got this page was already pre-gessoed I think I'd, I'd had some extra gesso left over from a previous project and slapped it on that page at some point uh, but I wanted to do a five because Archie my little arch is turning five at the end of this month and I can't believe it I I don't know where the time has gone uh, with all of those day how is he five already if you've been around for a long time if you've been a long time inklet uh, I I don't know how we're up to his fifth birthday already but I've got my five there and let's be honest it's not the most uh, you know fantastic five that I've ever seen but it's a five and you can recognize it as a five and that's that's the main thing so on the other side this page was also pre-gessoed and I, I usually do that when I've got uh, when I get a bit overzealous with the bottle of gesso which is most times when I'm using it it's just it's nice to have pages already pre-primed so that you can get into them now honestly I did not well I did actually because I'm using acrylic inks um, but if I was just using acrylic paint I wouldn't have bothered to gesso it uh, but the acrylic ink does suck into this paper and it just has an effect that I'm not a huge fan of so for this page I'm using a mixture of acrylic inks which I did second uh, and then also just some acrylic paint. I think I've got some Dilutions, maybe some Dina Wakely, just a whole range of, of blues and I am doing this style of painting which I love to do which is where you just do blobs. It's blobby blobs and it's very easy and satisfying and fun uh, and I just like to make sure that I've got you know maybe some patches that are a little bit lighter some patches that are a little bit darker just to give it a bit of visual interest and so all of the painted surface isn't the same I'm then getting a bit splat happy and this was the moment that I ruined my favorite dress <laughs> if you are splatting like this don't do it in clothes that you like because the acrylic ink does not come out of your clothes I I learned that and I regret my choice of clothing that day I don't regret the splats because I, I think it makes this page but I do definitely regret uh, my wardrobe so off camera I have dried that and then I put my hand promptly inside that paint that was left over on my greaseproof paper and smudged it everywhere so I thought I better use that up and I've just turned to another page that again already had some gesso from a previous overzealous gesso project and I'm just plonking that on because it, it gives me a background for next time I I think the thing that I love most about art journaling is working on pages that already have something on there uh, I think the you know the use it up journal concept is so fun and oh I love this side of the page because I'd sorry tangenting here that side of the page turned out a bit different with the splats because I had watered down the acrylic ink so much uh, oh someone's coming up the driveway and they're very noisy had to pause there for a moment I've got all of the windows and doors open today because it's the first sunny day that we've had for a really long time we've had a ton of rain lately and uh, of course every noise known to mankind is happening today outside it's just another voiceover day in the Dell land <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what photos I wanted to use now honestly you know he's not five in these photos yet which I realize i perhaps maybe should have done a four because he was four when these photos were taken but mm, you know I didn't so we're moving on with that anyway uh, I wanted to use some scrap papers now spoiler alert 
This side does not turn out like this at all. I, I wanted to keep it in the video though because I wanted to show you that um, you know your page can go through many layers and if you don't like something as I always say you can cover it up you can always cover it up somehow and so I started with this yellow because I was like oh I want to do a contrasting color to that five and you know yellow is a very happy sunshiny color and you know Arch is a very happy little boy and always chirpy and like sweet sunshine and so I started sticking down these things and I just hated the yellow I'm just gonna be honest I just I, I, I didn't like it and I thought oh maybe I could stencil over it nope so we gesso we grabbed the gesso again with my overzealous gessoing of course I had too much gesso uh, surprise surprise to no one and I covered it up now you can still see the layers underneath and I like that effect uh, but yeah the yellow just was not it just wasn't working for me that day and I think that's okay that you know your page can take many twists and turns. I once had a friend uh, she'll know if she's watching this who she is who did an art journal page and I think she covered it in gesso six times. Gesso is fabulous at, you know, masking things that you're not a huge fan of. Uh, and for this day, it was definitely, definitely handy. So here you can see I'm using some acrylic ink and I'm also using all oh, this is my new journal that you haven't seen yet. This is my new Jamie journal. And over on Patreon, I last year, I filled up a altered book. Uh, it was a Jamie Oliver cookbook that I turned into an art journal and I recently popped the flip through on Patreon. And so that's my new version, uh, Jamie Journal 2.0. And so I'm just adding a bit of uh, extra paint in there because I always have extra paint. <laughs> and now I wanted to do the five in a contrasting color. Now, in all honesty, red is one of my least, apart from green, duh, but for me, red is one of my most least used paint products. And the reason is I just can't make it not look like a crime scene. I think I just watch too much true crime uh, on Netflix because I can't, I can't make it work properly. <laughs> and so I thought, hey, we're already feeling challenged and a little bit nah, after using that yellow and covering it up, we're already a little bit flustered. Let's just add to the flusterization and do a color that you're uncomfortable with. I don't know why my brain works like that sometimes, but it, it definitely does. Uh, so then I realized that the, the red had kind of gone through on some parts, which was fun. And I just, I managed to wipe them off while it was still wet. Uh, off camera, I did pause the video and dry that number five, because if I didn't, it, it, there would have been red just everywhere. I've got my two photos and I wanted to cut them down to kind of an obscure size, not obscure, but not your typical three by four photo that I'm so used to working with uh, in my Project Life album. And so I've got my two little photos. I've sped this bit up quite fast because my arm almost fell off from the stenciling. I, <laughs> I, I love the idea of stenciling, but sometimes, especially when I'm doing white and it needs several coats, but sometimes halfway through, I'm like, why, why did I start this? It's a good arm workout, that's for sure. So now I'm adding just a little bit here and there, adding it to those darker areas on the five, just to add a bit of visual interest. And sensibly, I can't believe I did it, but sensibly I put a little bit of baking paper underneath my five so that the stencil didn't go on to the blue splattered background on the next page. So that's, that's a sign of improvement, Adele, that you remembered to do that. <laughs> this is one of those use it up pages that I had uh, that I plop some paint on. So I'm just adding a little bit an extra gesso for the next page. So now that layout is basically, the background, sorry, for that next art journal page is basically done, uh, which is a very nice feeling. So I am looking for a quote at the same time as outlining some of these stars. Now, in all honesty, they may not have been 100% dry. No, they may not have. And so when I tried to do the uh, fluoro pink pencil on the right hand side for some of them, it did peel away some of the paint, which was fun. Uh, and yeah, that, that wasn't enjoyable, but I did it anyway. 
persevered because I'm stubborn. I'm outlining the outline of these stars, which is a, a fact that I really love. So for this side, I did the I left a little bit of a gap and did the outline. And then on the right hand side with the red background, I did the inside of the stars, which is just a nice little, nice little way to change things up and zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm using glue for my uh, photos to stick them down because I am very doubtful of adhesive at the moment. If you watched uh, the video that goes up today over on my Inky Quill channel, you've got two videos going up today. And if you're a Patreon peep, you've got three videos going up today. Uh, but if you watch the other video, I have a bit of a rant about adhesive. I just, I'm having real issues with, you know, double-sided tape and uh, stickers that just don't stick. I feel like to be a sticker, it's a kind of a, a real important prerequisite to stick. And yeah, it's just, it's just not been my luck at the moment with them. I'm using a food ball pen and it's really nice and thick and inky. And so it writes over this acrylic ink beautifully. And you can still see the layers of the paper underneath, which I really enjoy too. I felt like my five needed to stand out a little bit. So I grabbed a paint pen and I'm just drawing around the border and then smudging it a little bit with uh, my finger just to distress it I guess a little bit make it not look so drawn and thick on there and I in hindsight it may have been smart to use a color that wasn't the same as the background that's the next page hindsight's 2020 isn't it peeps uh, but you can still it still does stand out which which I like and then hey let's ruin my dress even more and do some more splats <laughs> So I'm just adding a little bit here and I got it all over that photo of Archie. Uh, I, look, it kind of looks like he's being rained on because he's got his arms out. And the day that I took these photos, it was a very rainy day, but it did really annoy me. Here's the question for you peeps. Should I reprint that little photo and stick it over the top? It'd be easy to do. I would just have to remember to print it when I have my printer out. Uh, or should I leave it and make it look like he's being rained on with his arms open, which in real life he actually was. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is it too splattered or can I save it? Oh, I was filming things for a reel this day, which is why I have my phone um, out in several of these bits. Jazz hands, we're done, but we're not done. So I felt like this page needed another color. It needed another layer of something. So I grabbed this pencil. I don't know what brand it is. Uh, is it Stadler maybe? Possibly. I just got it from Eckersley's and it's just a very nice hot pink pencil. It has got a bit of a funny grip that I'm not used to because it's a thicker uh, pencil, but it does write very nicely on my art journal pages. And then of course, no, not done yet. More things. <laughs> and the page is done oh by the way peeps I, I did this in the other video too I left it till the end but if you haven't heard the news I'm doing a live stream next weekend on the 27th of March from 6 30 Australian Eastern Daylight Time AEDT or Sydney time and from 6 30 in the morning and I'll be going for several hours over on my Inky Quill YouTube channel I'll be doing some art journaling some scrapbooking project life travelers notebooks all of the things you can come along and chat to me and live scrap with me for a while uh, let me know if you can join thanks for watching see you peeps bye